Hey there, my friend. How you doing? It's Chris here from ChrisandGia.com. Back again with you for another very exciting episode. So today, what are we talking about? We're talking about what is MLM marketing, all right? What does that mean for MLM marketing and marketing your MLM, all right? So let's get right down to it real quick, all right? So, of course, an MLM or multi-level marketing is basically any type of service, right? It could be it's a company that provides products, services of any type of sort, right? And a multi-level marketing type business model, right? A friend of mine once told me, hey, you're not in the business of whatever it is that you're selling. You're in the business of marketing, right? And so how do you use marketing skills to really be successful in your MLM, right? So my understanding, here's how I've seen, there's only two ways to really market your MLM, right? And whatever product services you have. It's either through direct marketing or a direct or active type marketing or passive type marketing. Now active type marketing is the kind of marketing that you're probably very familiar with that typically never marketing companies will teach you, right? That is actively reaching out to potential prospects, all right, about your product or service, seeing if they're interested and wanting to take a look at what you have going on, right? So let's make that list, you make a list of 20 or 100, you give them a call, right? See they're open and interested. And then when that runs out, you go to a cold market and you start acting Actively prospecting, that's reaching out to people actively, which is a necessary part to get your business up and running in the beginning. Don't forget, many companies and businesses start off by actively prospecting, right, for the people that they're looking for. But here's the difference. You want to look for people who are right for your business, right? That's where passive marketing comes into play, right? So passive marketing is where you use some type of marketing medium, some sort of piece of content or something to pull people in saying, hmm, I might want to call this person or reach out to this person. It could be very basic like bandit signs that you see out on the side of the freeway to say, hey, um, Joe Rogue, you know, buys houses, right? Call Joe Rogue, right? <laughs> so that type of thing, that's, that's passive marketing. Or it could be anything you do on the internet, it could be content, it could be blogs, it could be social media posts, things like that. It's passive marketing, putting some stuff out there, waiting, waiting for someone to reach, to look at it and reach out to you for that information. Now, here's the thing. To really do MLM marketing in the, in the real, the, the best way, you got to be creating content that serves your target market, the target audience, right? The people, so that people who are most likely to buy your product and service is a little just step away from your traditional act of prospecting where you're just reaching out to everybody and everything because everybody is, is a prospect. False. In marketing, true marketing, you're learning the skills that First, identify who you are as a person, what value you offer, and then second, what it is that your audience, who, what audience you want to talk to, and three, what does that audience most resonate with? What's important to them so that you can fit your product or service to solve their needs? That's how true marketing works. So as an MLM marketer, it's your job to create content and put things in front of people so that they start getting curious and you're answering their questions and which leads them to your product or service. Now, I love marketing because it really narrows down so you talk to the right people. Let me give you a perfect example of what I'm talking about. When I first got started in MLM and network marketing, right, me and my brothers, we, we went to like a networking event, right, because we were trying to, we were, we were trying to talk to more people, right? I met this lady, she was really cool, and we're still friends now, and she was not into MLM. She didn't like it. She was like, she didn't like the idea of having to talk to people, reaching out to people, and she hated it. It wasn't her style, right? But she was into sales, and what she actually did was she actually worked at like a Jenny Craig's, like Jenny Craig fitness type thing, right? And I was like, Jenny Craig is still around? <laughs> Jenny Craig 1, Jenny Craig 1000, whatever, remember those commercials? Anyway. So they still, they're still around, and she was a director for one of the centers. And when I tell you that she was the epitome of marketing, let me tell you, she was, she didn't like the idea and the concept of coming out to reach out to people and say, "Hey, you want to buy my stuff?" She loved the other idea of someone coming to her because, my friend, it's a different ball game when your prospects are coming to you asking questions. Because as the director for her Jenny Craig Center. She knew that when a woman walked inside her building, she had them. Because what does she know? She knows this woman in some shape, form, or fashion wants to change their life somehow. Lose weight, eat better, look, look good, feel better, something. As soon as that person came in and sat down in her office, she would ask them a series of questions 
When it was all said and done, she would have women crying, ready to sign on the dotted line. She pulled in more sales in that in that center than anyone in her in her region. That's how good she was. She blew me away with this. That you, she, you can create the perfect message that speaks to your perfect targeted audience and that perfect target person that gets them feeling like, oh my God, me too. <laughs> And they're all ready to sign on the dotted lines. And when you, after talking to me, because this conversation is way different, she loved the positioning and the authority she had when someone came to her versus her reaching out to them. That, my friend, is perfect marketing. And if you can execute the same thing in your MLM, in your network marketing business, create content that reaches up to the right perfect person, and thus when they get on the phone with you, you ask a series of great questions that has them just dropping and falling over, ready, dying to sign up with you, dying to buy your products and services, you, my friend, have mastered the art of marketing. <laughs> and isn't it so grand? So that's it, my friend. If you're asking what is MLM marketing, that is it right there. The active and the passive and really truly speaking to your target audience. Hope this video was, 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 um, was um, um, valuable to you. <laughs> and if you did, definitely give it a video a like. Definitely subscribe to the channel for more training. And oh, by the way, definitely check out my social academy, which is my five-day free challenge on online and social media marketing skills. Are you ready to take the challenge? All right, then click the link below. Get registered for our next session, all right? So until next time, be blessed and stay hungry out there. Bye now.